Hey, I'm Tim from Melian Home Life, and today we're gonna try to do some waterproofing and patch repair. Let's get into it. We have a bunch of uh, holes here. Previous owner did this one with tuck tape. One here, one behind the curtains. Big, big one. Another one right here, two. So that's, sorry, three. Another one right here, which is right on the zipper. It's gonna be hard to do that one. Three, sorry, four. And then three more right here. So these three over here, I think are gonna be pretty easy to do. I think that this one is gonna be difficult. I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna to have to take off the, um, the metal piece across the top right up here all the way across and then I'm gonna pull the tarp or sorry and then I'm gonna pull the canvas down and uh, lay it down flat down here and uh, try to patch the holes okay first step I'm gonna be removing these curtains out If you like these curtains, don't forget to check out the video right here about how we did them. I've recruited the help of my dad. Who's your coach? My dad. To help me pull this off and fold the canvas down. Okay, so to pull this off, you just have to pull it off. Pretty gentle. Apparently. There you go. Okay, now we're just gonna unzip the two sides. Okay, so the product we're gonna be using today is Terraid. It's a see-through patch, and we're using Type A. Type B is for vinyl. Type A is for canvas. Okay, so apparently this product is three easy steps, which are cut, peel and stick and I'll show you each step as we go through. Before you do step number one, you want to use a 50-50 alcohol and water mixture to clean your canvas. Okay, so we're just going to let that dry and as we let that one dry, we're going to do the same process to the others. dry we're going to cut off all the loose ends. So once the canvas is done drying then you're going to take your tape and you're going to cut it to size before you peel the back. So my hole is here to here. I want to go at least one inch past on either side. Okay so this is the pat there. It's very, very sticky. We're gonna take this, hold it over like that. Set it one inch. We're not putting it on the sewing. I'm just gonna pull this nice and easy across there. Push it down. Get all the air bubbles out. And I, I've curled the corner over by accident, so I'm just gonna cut that off. So it says it, it adheres 90% on contact and 100% within an hour. Mm -hmm. 
Hold slowly for the paper. Keep straight. Focus slowly. Slowly. So we just lowered the roof down a little bit because the material is too tight. So we're gonna see now if we can get into that J channel. In order to get the fabric back on, I'm gonna to have to remove the screw and the washer. Okay, last step, we're gonna put the bracket on. An old secret, I don't know if you can see that or not. If you have a strip screw, put a little piece of wood in it and the screw will bite in. This hole here is way bigger than we thought it was and there's so much tape residue on it. We're gonna have to clean that for a while. See all the residue left behind from the, the duct tape and stuff. It's gonna take a while to clean it. Okay. Sorry, I just missed that. I had it on camera mode. Um, we're on about an inch. My dad's on the inside put pressure on as well. I don't know if you can see that or not. There it is. I had to put two pieces on because I missed the far edge here with the piece of tape. So I had to lower the roof down a little bit just to give it some slack. And I think we're going to have to put some, a little patch on the inside right here just to keep the sticky stuff sticky. Oh wait, before I put this next piece on, if you're still watching, don't forget to click like and maybe hit the subscribe button too. At Melanie and Home Life, we do a lot of cool videos. If you're desperate for cash, why don't you take your empties back?